good day good day good people i want to say happy new year it's 2020 y'all wow 2020 so if you see in this video that mean you made it through 2019 um 2019 was a very very tough year it was definitely a struggling year um a lot a lot of lessons a lot of lessons um if you seen my facebook post you seen that i asked that you write down all your losses good or bad all your things that happened to you in 2019 good or bad um that includes your losses your gains whatever um but in writing down your losses i want you to directly indicate your losses you know what i mean because but i want you to reflect on your losses as well you know i want you to really think was it really a loss and what lesson did you take back from that loss um because with blessings comes lessons so that means you had to have went through something in order for you to receive this great thing that god has for you um it wasn't by accident um, sometimes we get confused with the way these things work as if those lessons were by accident. No, there wasn't an accident. Those things needed to happen. Um, it's called sacrificial sacrifices. Um, so I wanted to come here just to give you that extra push, that nudge. 2020 is going to be an extraordinary year. Do you hear what I'm telling you? 2020 is going to be an extraordinary year. Uh, God came um, and he revealed to me before the summer of 2019. And I've been sitting on this word since then, letting it manifest. And I want to make sure that I deliver it accurate and, and that uh, you receive it um, the way that it was received and gave to me. Um, so when we think about the year 2020, I don't want you to think about, um, the whole aspect of it just being a new leaf. I want you to really look at the meaning of 2020. Um, you know, when we go to the eye doctor, the eye, the, the eye doctor, you know, de declares that 2020 is actually excellent vision. Um, so I want you to go into the 2020 year of thinking it of, an uh, excellent vision vision because um 2020 represents a clear vision and so i want you to think of that as the year as being a clear vision this year is going to be a visionary year okay so uh those that are close to me have already known that i've stated to them this is the time back in 2019 that you make whatever plans that you want to make for 2020 writing down and make them plain in 2019 don't wait till 2019 to make a plan don't wait for 2020 to make a plan for 2020 you have to be prepared for the previous year for what's to expect of the upcoming year so and it's in the word that you must write it down and make it plain god said write it down in Habakkuk 2 2 he said write it down and make it plain the visions that you want to come to pass you make it plain to him um the lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables and he they may run that read it so that mean even after you have achieved your plans and your visions for the year that you're in which is this year 2020 those after you gonna see that you have already written it and they also see it so it because that's how God works. He's going to use you for the people that don't believe in you. Let me say that again. He's going to use you for the people that don't believe in you. So that's why he wants you to make it plain, write it down. So that way it won't, it won't be no accident or, oh, you didn't know I said it. Not only did I say it, I written it down. And so now you, what you see here, this woman or this man that you see here, this is what I wrote and I asked God for. 
So, yeah, I want y'all to be prepared for what this year is bringing. And I want not only just for preparation, I want you to believe. This year is the year of belief. You understand? So I want you to be prepared, man. Write it down. Make it plain. Accept your flaws. Accept your goods and your bads. Accept that. Because those things you cannot change. But those things needed to happen for change. So I'm going to go into depth more. So if you uh, research the term of 2020 vision, it's a term that used to express normal visual Acticity and clarification of sharpness. So if this year is 2020, this is the year of clear, transparent sharpness. Your eyes are going to see something that you've never seen before. Okay? So, and I'm, I'm going to tap into that even deeper. So when you think about uh, 2020 and, you know, the you, you know, you just dig into it. So I want you to think about transparency, you know, transparency and, and transparent means crystal clear. A material of an article allowing light to pass through the objects behind it can be seen directly and clear. You understand? So, if you wrote it down in 2020, the vision was already clear. So, when 2020 got here, it's crystal clear for you. So, let's go. So, what are you saying? So, so what are you saying? So, basically, transparent is easy to, be, to perceive or to detect. The physics of it means transmitting heat and other electromagnetic rays without distractions or distortions you understand so when you say that you you're thinking about you know so everything is crystal clear in 2020 and you know we we say god is a, you know uh we can't see him but we see him every day it's in he lives in us if you believe you hopeful you faithful he, you see him every day, every shape and form and object. Um, so, uh, so the compute, the computing of the word transparent, um, is the process of interference functioning without the youth being aware of his presence. So, <laughs> you say what I just said, and then I just read this. I'm going to read this for you to let that simmer. A computing of the word transparent means a process of interference functioning without the use being aware of its presence. Hmm. That's awesome, right? That's an awesome, that's a word within itself. Because, yeah, we can't physically see God. In this wonderful man-shaped image that we think that we're supposed to see him. But all be aware that he's working in his presence. So I want y'all to be, I, I, I really want y'all to get this, man. This has been heavy on me since the beginning of the summer of 2019. This is going to be an extraordinary year for everybody. You hear me? Everybody. But it's only up to you to 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 move into that direction. Now, when I say extraordinary year, I want y'all not to get caught up with the glitz and the glam. Because with blessings comes lessons. So it's going to be some sacrifices that's going to have to be made in order for you to ultimately reap the full essence of the blessings. You understand? So... Don't think that this just going to be a happy-go-lucky route for you. No, there's going to, you're going to have your share ups and your downs. You understand? Oh, but the glory of the ups, the glory of the ups this year, that's going to be extraordinary. So, I want to tell y'all to read Daniel. Daniel is awesome because he talks strongly about vision and because this year represent 
the scale of a vision chart. I want y'all to go into Daniel and I want y'all to tap into Daniel. Really go into, be submissive to the word that's coming from the books of Daniel so you can fully understand and tap into your intellect visions. Don't get confused with a dream. We all have a dream. Tap into the visions that implements that dream. See, we all can dream. We can dream regularly when we sleep at night. We can daydream. Oh, but when you tap into the vision, that's when it comes to light. Tap into that. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to scroll here um, because I have some things written down to share with you guys. And I also want y'all to, when you're on your free time, go into the, I'm telling y'all, it would change your way of thinking. It would make it, I'm telling you, dreams will never be the same for you when you tap into Daniel and, it, and you structure the whole visual part of it. I want. I don't want y'all to miss this. I want y'all to receive this. And I want y'all to, when at the end of this year, when it's then reached this 365, I want you to come back on this day and said, hey, you said it. I believed it. I achieved it. You understand? And, and I want you to tap into your vision. So... I'm gonna tap into it. I'm gonna tell you, share with this uh, with you um, a couple of things. But before I go into uh, Daniel, um, I want y'all to go back to Genesis fifteen one, and that's the beginning of the Bible. But also, in the beginning of the Bible, he also stated visions. So in Genesis fifteen one. King James Version, it says, After these things, the word of the Lord came into Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thou shield, thy exceeding great reward. See, in the beginning of the Bible, in the beginning of the word, in the beginning of time, God already told you you were going to have a vision. So, therefore, or visions. So therefore, he already told you there were going to be great rewards behind the visions that he gave to you. See, the dreams is only just a tap into. Sometimes dreams can keep you from the actual vision. So you need to tap into, go deeper than the dream. Tap into the vision because the vision is what you need. So I'm going to tell you to go to Proverbs 29.18. And you can read Genesis farther if you like. So I'm going to, I'm just giving you a couple of nuggets here and there. So I'm going to tell you to go to Proverbs. It's going to be 29, 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy he is. See, you'd be happy if you keep it. you You'd be happy. You'll be a lot happier. You'll be a lot happier. So then, I, uh, like I said, you go into Daniel. I have a verse here um, from Daniel. Um, let's see something. It's going to be 826. 826 says, And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Therefore, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. So in the beginning of this video, I told y'all I have been having this since the beginning of the summer. I have only shared this with a, maybe a couple of people, but I never went into depth because I said it wasn't ready yet. I shared with people, I said, oh, baby. I might have said, oh, baby, 2020 is going to be an extraordinary. It's the year visionary. I might have just only talk, shared that with you. But today is the day that I bring it forth and let you know that I have been sh shutting this up for quite a time. Been letting it manifest and fester. So today, God allowed me to share this with you. I want you not only just to think, oh, this is a new me, it's a new year, oh, I got this, X, Y, Z. I want you to fully tap into what it could be for you. 
tap into the vision part of 2020 don't think that this is oh this is a new year i got exercise goals i i'm not gonna eat this i'm not gonna smoke this i'm not gonna drink this no i want you to really tap into it baby because this is the year of blessings you understand this is the years of breakthrough this is a breakthrough year for a lot of people a lot of people but it doesn't mean no sacrifice is going to be made it's going to be a lot of sacrifices you understand but oh but it's going to be i'm telling you the blessings is going to outweigh the sacrifices that's being made this year see because last year there was some major sacrifices it was some losses but you had to go through it to receive what god has for you in this season you understand? So prepare yourself. When you go into prayer, act, don't just go into God asking him for things. Because he already knows your heart if it's pure. But he wants you, to, don't just go and ask. Ask for preparation for the things you want to be received. Because see, sometimes we fall on our knees and sometimes we ask God for a lot of things that we really not really prepare for. You're not prepared for the role that he has for you. You're not being prepared for the obstacles, uh huh, the tests that you got to go through to get this great thing that you keep asking and jingling. He jingled it for you, but he didn't say, I'm going to give it to you easily. It's some things that I got to prepare you for to in order for you to receive this. I got it for you already with a nice pretty bow on it for you. But are you really ready for it? You ask for it, but are you ready for it? Are your soul really ready to receive this? What you going to do with it when I give it to you? Are you going to gloat? Hello? Are you going to be boastful? So some, are you going to be humble? So you got to not only just pray for and ask God to do this and ask for these many blessings. We have to ask God to prepare us to receive those blessings that he has in store for us. Because he has them for you. He wants you to go and ask him for it and receive it, for, receive it wholeheartedly. Because he want to trust that you're going to do the right thing by it. You understand? So, okay. That's on a whole nother. But I just want... Y'all to understand, this is not a game and not a joke. Okay? But I can tell you, it's definitely a test. It's not a test for me because I'm already doing what he asked me to do. It's a test for you to receive it and achieve it. So, go into depth a little more. I'm going to take you to 219. And that's going to be Daniel as well. So just give me a moment and I'm going to give it to you. So 219, it says, Then the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed God of heaven. So I'm telling you right now, God is, he's, he's happy. He's happy that I'm doing this video right now. Right now. Because he had already manifested this inside me since summertime. So he's happy right now because he's been nudging on me. I was supposed to put this video out the eve of New Year's and be ready for January the 1st. But distractions got me away um, from actually putting this out. But that's okay. That's okay. He going to deal with me from not being obedient when I should. But I'm putting it out now. I'm putting it out now because I can't no longer let him keep, he tugging me. He hitting me like, hey, put it out. Somebody going to miss this. And I don't want nobody to miss this. I want you to receive it. You understand? So, I'm going to take you to Daniel 1 and 17. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to read Daniel. If you want to, if you want to tap into your visions, read Daniel. Read Daniel. So, Daniel 1 17 I'm going to take you to, uh, let's see, Daniel 117, it says, As for those four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding of all visions and dreams. 
So you want it to be plain. See, Daniel had got to a point on his level of his visions where he was able to distort them from a dream and a vision. And that's where I'm here today to tell you to get to that level where you can understand your visions from your dreams. Your visions is where you want to be. A dream would just only keep you and show you a, 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 a glimpse of what a vision can take you to. It can only show you, a dream can only show you like a person looking into the box or to one of those little things we used to play with where they show you like a little motion picture. Oh, but a vision will open you up and put you there. And ultimately, when you get there in the vision, it will also make it a reality for you. So that's what I'm trying to get you to, the reality of your vision but first, you got to tap in your vision and distort your dreams from your vision. Um, also, um, Ezekiel uh, is going to be 8 and 4. Also, let's see. Let me bring it back. I don't want y'all to miss this. Man, this some this this is great. I'm wishing all prosperity to everybody that it may be tapped into this video that's going to see this video, going to hear this video. I want y'all to like, share it, share it to somebody, show it to your loved ones. Those who you want to see genuinely see go to the next level. Genuinely want to see you go to the next level. I want this to be a blessing to you in your household. Um God is amazing. Um if I really had time to sit back and tell you all the things that I went through in 2019, me, not just me, but my household, my husband, um, my family as whole, um, is mind blowing. But I'm able to sit in front of this camera today and be able to give you God's word is amazing by itself. You understand? And I cannot, I cannot do this by myself solely because if I had to do it on my own strength, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here, period. Because the mind is trickery. Very trickery. But that's a whole nother lesson. <sighs> but I just want to tell you, thank you. Thank you. If you even glimpse at this video, I want to tell you thank you personally. Because this is a huge um, weight lifted off of me to be able to sit and do this video. Because God has been nudging me for months to be able to come right here and do this i want to share this with you i i don't want i don't want i don't want to just be blessed by myself it's lonely at the top by yourself i want to be blessed with everybody and say oh man i seen this for you god showed it to me for you and i see I, it's even better when i can see it come to full light yeah so um mm. I want to tell y'all. So, um, Ezekiel 13, 16. I know I was going to share 8 and 4, but um, 13, 16 says, To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, in which sees the visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, said it, the Lord God. Um, let me get here. Okay, so Ezekiel also says in 8 and 4, it says, And behold, the glory of God of Israel was there according to the vision that I saw in the plain. And then that goes back to telling you what I said in, in the beginning. It says he wants you to write it down and make it plain. So in this um, book, it tells you that it brings you back to ways I saw it in plain sight. It was already written in plain sight. Um, also, I think is um, I have them written down. I also have them written down on my, um, got them jotted down as well in my phone. I've been very busy um, trying to get this out, and I don't want to miss it i don't want to miss it 
First Samuel says, First Samuel 3 and 1 says, And the child of Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of law of law of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. Um, don't chase away your vision. Don't, don't look. I'm telling you, that's not what you want to do. Don't change. Don't, don't, don't sit on this. Don't sit on this. You're going to miss it. Then you're going to go into um, the eve of New Year's talking about. 2020 was the worst year just like you just said 19 was your worst year don't do it because i'm giving you a nugget i'm giving you just a nugget to receive it so when you get there you're gonna say oh man this i received so many blessings and let me tell you something blessings are not in object form do not get that confused stop thinking blessings are supposed to be in an object form we get so confused with that, and we really, 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 really miss out on the true blessing because we're so used to being and put our mind in a set of mindset state that a blessing got to come in the form of an object. That is not true. Don't miss your blessing. Don't miss your blessing. Let's see. Hosea said in 12 and 10 says, I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multitude, multiplied visions and used substitutes by the ministry of the prophets. So it was already done. It was already done. He was able to take his visions And kind of pro and really prophesied to the prophets. <laughs> you know, that's awesome. You want to get to that level. You understand? So I just want to give those nuggets. I have so much, y'all. I'm so full. I'm so full um, on this day. Um I'm trying not to get emotional. I'm not trying to make this an emotional video, okay, y'all? But, y'all, I'm so full. I'm so full, and I thank God. I want y'all to truly take away from this video. Again, I can't stress it enough. Read Daniel. Tap into 2020 vision. Don't get caught up with the big logo of the 2020 year. Utilize this these next days and weeks and months 24 hours seven days a week utilize it use this whole year and tap into your 2020 vision please i'm telling you it's gonna do wonders for your life you may not see it you may not think it right now but when you tap into it you're gonna see it with new eyes the 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 eye doctor not gonna tell you you have 2020 vision the way God gonna tell you you got 2020 vision and that's the vision I want. That's the vision that I want to receive. I want to tell y'all also um, tap into the the depths of God. God has many depths. Heavens have the heaven have many depths, many layers. We get just like the earth has many layers. Just like your skin has many layers, God has many layers, many heights to reach him. You have to go through his son, Christ, who died on Calvary for all, not just for a select a few, not the Jews, not the Israelites, not the this and the that, uh, the titlements, not, he died for everyone. Tap into him. Each time you tap into him, you're getting to a higher height. New dimensions. Don't be stagnated at that low dimension. You have to tap into a higher dimension. You have to allow God to make shifts in your life and stiffs in your life. 
because it's awesome where he wants to take you. You're not supposed to be poor. You're not supposed to be struggling. That is not how he intended for life to be. He did tell you some things was going to be disruption. There was going to be disruption, but not to be stagnated. Um, and this is coming from a person, um, just to give a few, I took some major losses in 2019. Still, but I'm, I'm sitting in front of this camera today. Oh yeah. And I'm full. I'm full. Barely even, I didn't even really eat yesterday for Thanksgiving. I mean, for, excuse me, for New Year's. I'm 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 full. You know, um I want to share with you um the word sif which is S I F T. It can be defined as a verb, but it's to put in fine and loose and powdery substance. Through it shifts to as though removing the lumps and large particles. You said, Mary, what does that have to do with the 2020 vision? Well, I'm going to tell you, dear. You was lumpy last year. You had large particles. God had to shift you, stiff you. He had to take that crank and he was loosening you up. Oh, yeah, I know. You felt like you was at the bottom of the barrel. You couldn't pour no more. You couldn't give no more. You was all cried out. But, baby, he was trying to shift you yeah he was tapping you releasing you getting those lumps in that large part the cooks and bakers know what that is that old crank where we used to loosen flour and loosen powder sugar to make sure there's no lumps going into our batter that we're trying to create because we wanted to bake smooth so that's what I'm telling you. God did that in 2019 because he was preparing you for what the 2020 going to bring you. He had to remove those large particles that was within you so you can be smooth and at ease for 2020. You says, not only did he remove that, he also want to shift you. He the word shift means to move and to cause move from one place to another, especially over a small distance. 2019 was too small for you. That's why he was shifting you and removing you from where you should not be. So no longer in 2019 should you talk about, I mean, no longer in 2020 should you talk about 19 because that is old substance that he removed from you that is no longer attached to you. He said, I'm going to make you so plain for 2020. So I want you to, 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 to examine this so when i tell you the word don't get shift and shift confused they work together but they're not to be confused so s-i-f-t i'm just giving you an examine it means to examine something thoroughly so as it to isolate that which is most important or useful did you hear what I told you? God had to S-I-F-T you to examine you, to thoroughly isolate you, mm -hmm, to shift you, okay? 
to isolate you that which was most important or useful. He had to remove particle things for you to get to the to, to the place where he can use you. Where you are going to be most used. So he took you from that small cubicle place that 2019 had put you in. In a shelter. So now he's got something bigger than you. Bigger than you. In 2019. Oh man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man, tap into it, tap into it, allow God to use you this year, allow, uh, thank God for the bad things, you pray and you clap and give God praise for the victory because it's already won, you understand, we didn't cry, we didn't, we didn't talk about, we didn't complained about, we didn't did all of that 2019, but did you clap for those troubled times? Did you actually clap for those troubled times? See, we get caught up in the pain and the suffering that we're going through, but we don't realize that it's a victory that we got to thank God for. Because we caught up in the pain, baby. Don't get caught up in that. Thank him for the victory because it's already won. You had to go through that to get what he got for you. Y'all, be blessed in this 2020 year. Do not miss and count yourself out. Don't think nobody else going to count yourself out. You, yourself, going to count you out. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about the people, the crowd that ain't even part of you. You don't need them no way. They ain't good for you no way. Don't worry about them. Pray for them. You understand? Pray for them and keep it moving. And those that didn't clap for you, they going to wish they had. They going to wish they had because they going to want what you got. Well, um, how you got that? And your answer going to be God. Just as confident as you can be. Because you know no, uh, no way, no shape, no how, nobody can get you there but him. But you're going to be able to stand proud and say, God, well, what you mean, God? Because, you know, you got some people that's just arrogant in their ways. Well, what you mean? God did it. And if he did it for me, he can certainly do it for you. You just got to believe. So that's my time, y'all. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time, y'all. I'm so full. I'm so full. I want y'all to be blessed this year, man. Take this, share it, dwell on it, whatever you need to do with it. But I'm so serious about 2020. And I, I want to see you there. Because, see, you're going to look back at this. Don't worry about my losses, sweetie. Worry about what God taking me. And trust me, you might not necessarily thinking at the end of this year that you won something. Oh, but you did. And you will. He's preparing you. So 2020 is just a tap into what he got for you. It's just a it's just an opening for what he got for you. Yeah, I see so many extraordinary people. Don't worry about the condescending and conflicted comments people make to you. You know, they got some people that like to come in and give you all your roses behind closed doses. You understand? But don't worry about them either. They confuse. <laughs> they confuse. They confuse. Because if you got to give somebody a compliment and praise them behind closed doors, then ain't no that you don't you can keep it. You can keep it. That person don't need to know how. So keep your negative things out of your life, y'all. Keep that negative. Bury it. Don't bring it. I'm telling you, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss out what God has for you. Don't bring it in 2020. Leave it there. Somebody call you. Oh, oh, this a, mm -mm. Well, sis, well, brother. You know, I, right now I'm going to go and pray with you right now. Because what that does is keep that energy there. 
Spirits are transferable. I want y'all to understand that. If you don't, you need to. Energy is transferable. Everything we do is energy. Currency. Vibration. Know that. If you got time, meditate. Tap into it. Clear your mind from all negative things, all energy, and all that. You ain't got to go sage crazy. All you got to do is tap into God's word. That's the ultimate sage. Better better stay sage than you wouldn't go purchase or whatever. Just tap into some meditation. And I'm not saying you got to know the whole Bible from front and back and this and that and third and all that. No. Just know God. Know he is real. He's the way maker. The alpha and omega. Try him. It will change your entire life, your aspect, your way of thinking. Um, try this affirmation all 2020. God's wealth flows to me in abundance in avalanches. God's blessings flow to me in avalanche in abundance of avalanches. S say that. Say that through your whole day. Every day. Say it and mean it. Don't just say, oh, I want wealth. You don't know what it took for them people to be wealthy. But you want it. You don't know how many demons they had to battle. But you want it. You don't know how many souls they had to sell to get it. But you want it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Tap into your own blessings. It, them same people probably be knocking at your door and want what you have. I want I I I want I want y'all to be blessed this year, man. Um, I can't say it enough. Twenty twenty is an extraordinary, but most importantly, it's a visionary year. It's the it's the year of visionary. Have a vision, and see it come to light. And let God use you in all the ways that he can use you in every area. He can use you. Submit to him. So, again, Happy New Year's to everyone that's out there. Everyone that is viewing this video. I want y'all to be blessed. Don't forget to say the affirmations. I want y'all to say God's blessings flows to me. In abundance of avalanches. Say that every day. Every day. If you can say it a thousand times a day, say it. Say it. Say the things that you want to happen until you see it happen. Yeah. So, I love y'all. Um, this is definitely not the last you will see me. Um... I'm going to bring more to the table. Um, but right now, I just want to just want you to receive this. This is going to open up so many doors for you and for you to be blessed and allow God to use you. And trust me, I'm using it every day. I'm learning every day. Um, but... Don't forget to write y'all list down. Write your list down of all your bads and all your goods. And then I want you to write down the lessons that you received from the bads. And then I want you to write down what you expect in 2020. But I want you to be realistic. I want you to be realistic. And I also want you to write down what you can do to move forward and achieve those things because you got to put in the work you got to put in the work it ain't gonna come easy you can't be it can't come to lack the slackers and lackers you know so i'm gonna end this video um but i i just want to tell y'all i love each and every